you're going to make the decision of what you want to do with the information that you're being given. I have no power over you. You have the power and you need to know that. The voice you have just heard is of Louise Haight. And I'm so glad you're here because today I've got a powerful message to share with you. It's all about discovering the incredible power you have within which will make everything you write will come true. Just like spiritual teacher Louise Hay teaches, our thoughts and beliefs shape our lives. What we write in our minds will come true. This isn't just some feel-good fluff. This is based on powerful spiritual principles that I've seen play out in my own life again and again. I used to feel so stuck in situations I didn't like. My health was poor, my relationships rocky, my finances a mess. I thought I just had terrible luck. Like life was just happening to me and there wasn't much I could do about it. But when I started applying what Louise Hay says about the mind having the power, everything changed. I went from feeling like a helpless victim to an empowered creator of my life. I manifested better health, happier relationships, and more abundance than I ever thought possible, all through shifting my mindset and beliefs. Now I want to pass on what I've learned to help you unleash your inner power too. Stay tuned as I share the specifics on how your thoughts and beliefs shape your reality, and how you can harness that for radical transformation. Buckle up my friends, this is about to get good. I used to think my mind was just this passive processor of information, a computer taking in data and spitting out reactions. But after studying the teachings of Louise Hay and other mind power pioneers, I realized my mind is so much more OA than that. Our minds aren't just processors, they are creators. Every single thought, feeling, and belief you have is helping manifest your external reality. Your mind is like a magnet, attracting people, situations, events that match its dominant vibration. Think about it. When you feel upbeat, confident, full of faith, don't you tend to have better days? It's because your energy attracts good luck. On the flip side, when you feel anxious, angry, or afraid, don't challenges seem to pile up? It's because consciously or subconsciously, you are inviting them in. Of course, it can feel hard in OT to dwell on negative stories. Our evolutionary biology is wired to scan for problems and dangers. But we have the power to rewrite our stories. Start telling yourself you are safe, supported, empowered. Trust in your resilience. Know that you can handle challenges with grace. This shifts your mindset to invite in more positive manifestations. The mind is an incredible manifesting machine for better or worse. So let's get deliberate about operating it with more conscious positivity and power. When you harness the magnetic power of your thoughts, beliefs, imagination, you take back authority over your reality and can build the life of your wildest dreams. Stick with me. This is where things get really good. We often think we have to take big, bold external action to change the world. But lasting change starts from within. As we cultivate more peace and harmony in our inner world, it naturally radiates out. I used to get so fired up wanting to fix all the problems I saw around me. I'd react with anger and judgment, anxiously trying to force solutions. But what I've learned is that the outer world is a reflection of individual and collective consciousness. When we react to negative events or people, with more negativity, we only breed more turmoil. As Louise Hay says, we must be the change we wish to see. And that change starts inside each one of us. So now, I start my activism by nurturing my own inner peace through mindfulness practices like meditation, journaling, time in nature. When scary events happen, I pause before reacting. I send love and compassion to all involved. And here's the thing, you can feel this ripple out energetically. Think of throwing a pebble into a pond. Our shifted energy creates ripples touching people and situations far beyond what we can track. When you choose peace within, you literally connect with like-minded peaceful people all over the planet. Together, 
we join forces and influence events in unseen ways. So next time you feel fired up to fight injustice, pause first. Turn inward. Nurture your inner light. The outer impact may surprise you. Be the ripple. Louise Hay teaches that real change starts with self-honesty. As within, so without. And I've found this to be so true in my own life. It's easy to focus blame outward on other people, the system, even the economy or government. But the outer world is just a reflection. The real roots of positive change lie within. So nowadays, I start by looking honestly at my own patterns. Where am I playing small? When do I give away my power out of fear or scarcity? What stories do I keep telling myself? Because here's the deal. We reap what we sow in life. If we want more joy, more abundance, more empowerment, we have to nurture those seeds within ourselves first. If I want happier relationships, I look at my own grudges and walls. If I want better health, I look at my self-care habits. If I want more wealth, I examine my sense of self-worth. It takes courage, but self-inquiry is so cleansing. I can course correct internally long before outer turmoil hits. Nipping fear, anger, lack mindsets in the bud prevents them ripening into stressful realities. So try this. Catch yourself when old thought patterns creep back in. Examine if those beliefs are really serving you anymore. Use self-awareness to consciously shift to a more empowering mindset. The fruits will reveal themselves in good time. Enjoy the journey. Now, we've talked a lot about the power of your thoughts, beliefs and inner peace to shift your outer reality. Well, one of the most powerful things you can do is actually write down your vision for what you want to unfold. Putting pen to paper and clearly detailing your goals, your ideal life, your soul's purpose, this is like rocket fuel for the manifestation process. As Louise Hay teaches, everything you write will come true. The written word holds incredible creative power. I think it's because the act of writing something down requires clarity and conviction. You must get super clear on the details. Start an old-fashioned journal or vision board. I write as if my dreams are already unfolding. I am so grateful now that release it to the universe. Trust it is on its way in divine timing. When we pair a peaceful, empowered mindset with written manifestation tools, we signal to the quantum field of infinite potential. I am ready to receive this. Then it is just about staying open and allowing. Let your highest vision unfold. Know that everything you wrote will blossom into reality when the time is right. The pen is mightier than the sword. Wield yours wisely. My friends, I hope this video opened your eyes to the incredible power you have to change your life at any moment through your thoughts, beliefs and what you write down. No more feeling stuck or helpless. Remember, cultivating inner peace and self-honesty is how we heal the outer world too. Be patient but persistent with rewriting limiting old stories in your subconscious. I'm right here cheering you on in this journey of conscious creation.